So the painting today is about taking the negative and turn it into or take it and make it into a positive experience. I'm sorry, I was distracted because we thought that was an ant. It's not an ant. It's something else. Remember two weeks ago when I told you I messed up my back while doing spring cleaning? Now I'm okay, yes I am, and yeah, that's what you get for trying to be organized. Yeah, trying because I actually never get to finish, and I don't think I ever will, but I will try again. Well, that week I didn't make an episode. But I did make a painting and I felt, oh my god, this painting looks like my neck pain. Yes, yes, like a twisted and sensitive man. No, we're not talking about that, but we could be, so. Or, or person if. Yeah, okay. Neck pain and, um, neck pain. And it was basically a very, very aggressive texture and aggressive in every single way. It had a lots of blocks of red paint. You know, I took my, what is it, the palette knife and I was like, no, this is a screwdriver and I use this to paint, but that's a secret. Because now it's a secret, whatever. I do not have it anymore and I do not have, I don't need a haircut professionally done. <laughs> Anyways, and I do not have any um, pictures of it, so you will not get to see it. You're not missing anything, you know? Oh no, it was horrible. This is what happened. As the days went by, I looked at the painting here and there, then I realized that the painful painting was a reminder, a reminder to me of something else. Yeah, something, something else. A little, uh, uh, rock climbing accident I had. I had this accident many years ago and um, well that ended up in years of pain. Doctors and uh, you don't even want to know what's bad. So um, this silly muscle pulling neck thing and that horrible painting maybe just made me look back how reckless I was when I had my back accident years ago and all the pain and all the memories I guess just oh, came back uh, then it kind of hit me that many times we go through life blocking bad experiences and you know blocking people and memories instead just like facing things and be like oh okay you go around and make you into a play-doh now who's the hot potato we all do it right from that embarrassing moment you had in first, even third grade when you hit that boy you really liked to the, uh, <laughs> to the unimportant blind date your friends and you have years ago and now it's kind of awkward to bump into each other and to the more uh, serious, painful, traumatizing and more heavy duty experiences so Am I making any sense here? I hope so. I gave myself a little kick in the butt for, you know, being reckless again, even though it was in such a small manner, you know, you never know. So, uh, I should be taking care of my, you know, spine, doing the exercises, blah, blah, blah. And I don't do so, so I don't do that, so there. I embraced the pain, <laughs> the neck pain. I accepted my recklessness, I accepted it, and I decided that simply treating it as a lesson. Yeah, a lesson will help me, you know, to move on. No? Yes? I think yes. You cannot change what is done. You cannot change what you did. You can just change how you look at it. Making something positive, even if it is only a simple reminder to, you know, take care of yourself or to let go or to 
you know, allow yourself to trust somebody or whatever, you know. It is better, a better deal, I think, than suppress feelings or stuff and even words that I don't even want to think about it, you know. Yeah, I need a haircut. If you can do that, it's like, yeah, not good. I don't like to get haircuts because every time I go there, they're like, oh my god, you have so much hair! And then they call the other girl, oh, have you seen anything like this? You have so much hair! And I'm like... And then they go like, oh, oh, you know what, cancel my next appointment, this is gonna take a long time. So, the painting today is about taking the negative and turn it into, or take it and make it into a positive experience i'm sorry i was distracted because i thought that was an ant it's not an ant it's something else in this case i literally took a horrible painting that only represented paint to me and added elements on top of it to change its appearance of course and its meaning so when you look closely you can still see that strange painful background mm -hmm. then i decided to change my attitude and added some fine lines colors textures on top of it i literally wanted to have a feeling of playful dancing lines and shapes and to be honest i you know i was dancing a little bit myself here and there as i was working yes yes sometimes i do it when i can but this time i just felt like ooh. This feels right, and I think I had way too much fun doing it. The whole idea is to learn from negative experiences. And, you know, take the lessons from the positive ones, from the positive experiences. Or, you know, if God or life gives you lemons, well, make lemonade. Don't become a sour cream. Okay, I guess that that's all for today and I will see you guys next Sunday. I didn't hit myself. I can't wait to take you in a bike trip. Very, very fast <laughs> and skirt the jelly beans out of you. So hopefully the weather is gonna be nice soon. Oh yeah, I can maneuver and have a camera at the same time for you think you're talking to. So okay. Be gone. <laughs> That's it for today. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Eat your cookies. Yeah.